Jimmy Butler, a couple of free throws on the way. Hasn't missed yet. First free throw is good. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. Rozier into the front court. His guys find themselves trailing by a bucket. Here comes the screen. The screen sets him up for two. When Kyrie Irving went out, we saw Terry Rozier become that guy for the Celtics. Hence, even getting the name Scary Terry. No doubt about it, he may be a starter eventually, and that may be a conundrum for the Celtics. Redick, no good to Butler, down low. I missed it. How'd that not go down? And he's fouled. Very close, Jay. The results, he's going to the line. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upward motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. To the line, shooting two. Off the mark on the first free throw. Good bounce back. Hits the second. It's a one of two trip. Muller to bring it up. His guys now down by a point. To McConnell. Butler. To McConnell. Just not going down. Goes to the right side. Contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. That might have been a little bit easier than expected there, considering the score. Baller into the front court. His guy's down three. Scores from the post. You've heard it before. Slow and steady wins the race. This approach might be working out after all. Rebound taken by the Sixers. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. To Redick. The Sixers with four to shoot to McConnell. Beyond the arc for three. Like the confidence, tough shot there for McConnell. Stumps it down with authority. Sixers call for time as they'll discuss matters in what's now a three-point game. The best basketball. And I know I'm saying this, and I shouldn't be saying it because I'm calling the broadcast, but as a player and a fan, you know you tune in to the fourth. This is where guys earn their paychecks. This is where you see real fight and real hustle. Butler to Embiid. Able to convert inside. Ooh, shows like this separate the good players from the great ones. The good players, they have good first halves, and then they fade the black in the second. The great players, they just sustain that kind of dynamic energy throughout the entire ballgame. Fultz into the front court. Down three to Butler. To Fultz. Here comes the screen. And now he's going to shoot a few more as he's fouled going up for it. The game is too tight for you to be taking risks like that. You want to avoid foul trouble at all costs. First try, no good. Missed the second as well. To Hayward. Tatum shot by Will. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. Leadership's greatest values occur in between the lines and not necessarily in the box score. And that's the type of leader that Al Horford is. He's the first all-star free agent to choose Boston in decades. And let me tell you this. 
The legacy of greatness runs deep in the family. His father, Tito Horford, was the first Dominican basketball player to ever play in the league, which goes to show you why Al has such a great feel for the game. There it is, Al Horford. Very efficient and making an impact. He's three for three. This 11-year veteran has emerged as a uniquely stabilizing force for any team he plays on. He may not ever win a prize for his fiery oratory, but his steady demeanor is part of what makes him invaluable. That's no good. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Free throw is good to finish off the three-point play. That slices the lead down to four. Into the front court, it's Irving. He'll run the offense. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance of a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Jason Tatum at the line for a chance at a three-point play, shooting 75% so far tonight. Tatum's good on the free throw. It's a three-point play as Boston adds to the lead. Sixers control it. Simmons to Fultz. And scores. Look at that. Calm under pressure. You see a lot of guys rush those. Nice extra move there. Here's Irving into the front court. Up five. Here comes the screen. Irving. Great pass, setting up the basket. I said this on draft night, that Jason Tatum was the most special player in the draft. Granted, I didn't know about Donovan Mitchell, but it's hard to believe that Philadelphia traded this pick away so the Celtics can have a future star. Knocks it down from mid-range. The defender needs to do a better job of forcing a pick up there. No good, and no foul. Muller to bring it up. The deficit now up to five. Add two points to the board. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. If he keeps playing like this, we all may believe that the earth is indeed flat. And that's what you love about Kyrie. He's constantly probing. He's probing on the court by maintaining his dribble and then also probing off the court with saying lines like the earth is flat. The fact that that was on the cover of every magazine, the headline of every social media title, goes to show you that Kyrie is great at hijacking your amygdala both on and off the court. Kyrie with the run. A oh, bad pass as the Sixers come up with the steal. From a guy who's been there before, tomorrow morning you'll wake up and you would have wished this was a bad dream. But in reality, all you could do is knock the cobwebs off and let it fuel you for tomorrow. Gets a look. Can't hit. Irving with the basketball. Up by three. Goes reverse to lay it in. Well, the shooting has been spectacular, but one of the things that I've seen as a difference maker in this ball game is how they are catching the basketball. They're not establishing a pivot foot, which leaves the defense wondering which way you can drive. But when that shot is working like that, you got it any way you want. J.J. Redick. He's 3 of 5. 60% shooting from the field. Well, here's something that all the great ones do. What first half? This is another first half. This is another half of basketball. That one that just happened is no longer. I can only focus on the now. If you're able to take your mind to this place, all of a sudden it helps you recalibrate. Simmons to Embiid. Butler to Reddick. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. And ISO basketball is becoming a thing of the past. Team basketball is back. 
And if you have that personnel with the versatility plus the mindset, game over. Irving to Horford. He got a piece. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Redick with it. His guy's now trailing by a point. Now preparing to shoot at the line. No, no, no. I'll tell you, the team that makes the little mistakes, like committing unnecessary reach-in fouls like that, will be the team that ends up with the L. And hits the first free throw. Goes two for two. Celtics have it. Irving. Tatum. Buries it on the catch and shoot. Now a whistle and a timeout for Philadelphia. They trail by two. And the question, do they look for the tie in overtime? Or do they go for it all with a three? Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Now pass stolen by the Sixers. You go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. And gets both to drop at the line. Timeout Boston. And this is where the coaches earn their cash. Let's see what they design down by two here in the final minute of play. Deep three at the buzzer. Yes! Three for the win at the buzzer. My goodness. It came down to one shot. He stepped up and buried it to win the ball game. Sports post game wrap up. The Celtics won in dramatic fashion, ending today's matchup with an incredible buzzer beater. You can see it again right here. You'll definitely be seeing this one on Sports Center. The Celtics got their score from the guys you're seeing here on screen. The 76ers just couldn't close this one out. While they did put together quite a highlight reel of dunks in this matchup, they did not put together a win. As we all know, style points never show up on the scoreboard. Check out the leading scores for the Philadelphia 76ers. Game track. Three-point shooting. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen, whether you're tired or not. Player of the game. Kyrie Irving played the role of facilitator today, and no one is more happy than his teammates. Our top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. 